Sheldon v. Sill, 1850. Thomas and Eleanor Sheldon secured a mortgage from the Bank of Michigan when they became citizens of the state in 1838. Two months later, the bank sold and transferred the mortgage to William Sill of New York. Sill filed a claim to recover the amount of the mortgage from the Sheldons in Michigan Federal Court. Sheldon argued that Michigan Federal Court had no jurisdiction to hear a case of a resident of New York against residents of Michigan. The Sheldons lost their case against Sill, and they appealed their case concerning jurisdiction all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the lower court of Michigan did not have jurisdiction to hear the case. The court ruled that Congress may create lower courts and assign what jurisdiction they may hold. Even though the Constitution lists what types of cases the judicial branch may hear, it can restrict the types of cases heard in the lower courts. In the case of the Sheldons and Sill, Congress did not grant the lower courts the power to hear this type of case.